crafters, I have made a new file. It's not available in DICE because it's a big file and I'm afraid that sellers will be not so eager to produce it in DICE but maybe there will be a seller who um, contact me and wants to produce it. That's no problem. But um, I made a trio box. I have a friend and she is all into music and musical instruments. And uh, I made this box for her. If it was for me, I would do swirls and flowers and all that kind of stuff on it. But she likes clean and simple. And that's why I dressed it up clean and simple. And the benefit of this is that you can clearly see what's in the digital cut file. Because it's now available in my Etsy store. And you will get this outer frame. You will get all the design paper layers. And of course the box. The only thing you don't get is the guitar, the metal uh, and the trumpet. And of course those phrases. But... Uh, if you are looking for them, I will. if I don't forget, I will uh, put them in the description box below. But for the KLJUYP store, I designed uh, a violin, an electric guitar, a normal guitar and a trumpet. And those I used. And for Andy's store, I designed these metal, uh, like when you win something, metal dice. And... Um, a cup, a winner's cup, and uh, like a badge medal. So, uh, and they come in two sizes, three sizes, and three sizes. So I think um, these will all, all be a fun addition to have if you want to dress it up. But you can put in the, the, uh, the box, of course, what you want. And I'm going to show you how to put it together and what you will get in the cut file. You will get two boxes that I already put together. And this is the third one, but I want to show you how to put it together. So that's why I didn't uh, put the third one together. This is the front layer and the back layer. And the design paper pieces that you will get also in the cut file. And the layers for in the back side of the windows. The benefit of this uh, 3.0 is that you can use it in um, landscape and portrait style. So landscape and portrait, whatever you want. It's just how you put on your designer paper layers. But when you start, it's smart to put all your um, glue already on it if you like to work with liquid glue that's fine of course but I, I'm going to show you how to put it together I will first do the box I think that's the most easy thing to show you you must make three of these boxes just take off the backings and normally I would let Tracy do my tutorials but Tracy works in uh, a care uh, branch and she is um, so occupied with uh, all the stuff she needs to do and take care of all the sick people in the hospitals and bring medicine so um, I don't want to bother her with another new tutorial so that's why I'm doing the tutorial myself right now uh, because I don't want to stress out Tracy I know she is doing a way better job at her normal job uh, as I do at my tutorials but uh, she is more needed there that's what I wanted to say I, sometimes I, I say things and then I think back and then I think oh well maybe that sounds very strange what I say but I'm Dutch and I do my best in English and I know you are all uh, understand the, understand me so and don't mind that I sometimes mess up <laughs> but I will do my best she can do way better tutorials than I do but um, in Dutch we have a saying you have to row your boat with the belts you have so that's what I'm doing 
and then when you have the first box in you take off the backings and if you find it annoying to watch me struggle you can fast forward the video that's the benefit of having a video I'm, I'm not good at edi editing um, and I need to find a good program for my Windows PC and um, uh, I think it's it's just a matter of not taking the time to look for it that's that's the problem and to figure out how it works but well you can put the video in fast forward and for all you lovely people who bought one of the, the exclusive die sets that I designed um, they will arrive tonight and tomorrow I will be packing them and sending you the pictures of for all you lovely crafters who, who have bought one of my exclusive die sets I have only a few left so if you still want them go ahead and visit my Etsy store and please know that in my Etsy store I normally only sell digital files and um, that's why I put in my store very clearly that those two are cutting dies and the rest are all digital files see now I'm messing up a little bit but I think you get the picture then the third one and this is this is the most time-consuming part to put in the boxes but I think the best way to put in the boxes is this way but I didn't fold the flaps all the way back so then you will struggle a little bit to get your boxes inside but if you take your time it will look nice and you know I'm doing the video so I'm always trying to to hurry up so you don't have to watch boring video material I think people with a YouTube channel always wor worry about boring viewers <laughs> so then I take off all the backings press it a little bit down and then I can pick it up and press it more firmly so so this was the most time consuming part and then you will find oh I lost a piece but I will pick it up in a second then you will find pieces with two flaps two glue flaps and those you attach onto the sides and make sure you line them up correctly because else your box will not look nice so I'm taking my time to line them up nicely see I need my pliers to take off the back ends more easily and if you hear some shouting in the background that is my cat Lotje she is eager to go outside and <laughs> she lost to um, catch all kinds of critters <laughs> okay how do I put this on and make it clear to you for the video normally I would do this in a different way but this way you can see it more clearly in the video so then you put on the longer strips see and I messed up my boxes <laughs> the first one I did a great job and the other two I didn't but well forgive me I'm not perfect either especially when I make videos when I can take my time and do it in an angle that it's more clear for me to see then I will do a better job but ah uh, well so then you take off the backings of the sides press them down and 
I don't know how it's in your country at this moment that I'm filming this video. In the Netherlands, it's horrible with uh, the coronavirus. Everybody stays in. Oh, I feel so sorry for the people who has to suffer this disease. And I'm thinking about making a file that I give away for free, but I, I need to figure out what to make. I wanted to make something special for all caretakers, so that you can download the file for free, and that you can make something for all the caretakers who work so hard to get all the people better with the coronavirus. But I need to figure out what I want to make for them. I think it's um, it needs to be something related to their care job. But maybe you, you have suggestions and can help me figure out what we can make for all the caretakers because I think they deserve it. In the Netherlands yesterday there was a flower um, um, a company that uh, grows flowers and because they can't ship it outside the Netherlands they brought all the flowers they produced uh, the last few months to the hospitals for all the caretakers and that was so heartwarming so now the box is together and you can dress it up with all the design paper layers that are inside I will show you I'm not going to glue them down because I think you will get the picture, but these are for the backgrounds. These frames will go on top. These are for all the sides, these pieces. This is one for the top. And this is the back layer. And then you can use the frames that are in the cut file to dress up the boxes if you like of course you can use your own uh, dice to dress it up but I put them in the cut file so then you have something for the front side and um, I hope you uh, will enjoy this part you can use it like this but you can also use it like this so landscape and portrait uh, the file is in my Etsy store. I will do. Um, uh, I will put a link in the description box also to the dies that I used, and uh, don't forget that the exclusive dies. I only have a few left, so if you want the exclusive dies, please also check out my Etsy store, and there you will find them. I wish you all a nice day. Thank you for watching, and until the next video, bye bye.